Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Technical Speaks. In this video, we are going to learn about scanner class and its importance in Java programming language. Before going further, if you are new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So what is scanner class? We can define scanner class as Java user input. So basically it means when we need to get input or you can say data from an user, we use a scanner class. The data can be any of the primitive types like int, double, strings, etc. Now you might think how we access a scanner class in Java program, right? So this is a class which is found in a package named as java.util package. So to use this package, we simply import it like import java.util.scanner. Now we know that to use a class, we would have to create its object, right? Like this one, demo dm is equal to new demo. So create an object of the scanner class, we need to pass a predefined object as parameter, which we call system.in. So let's see the code first of creating an object of scanner class. Here, scanner sc is equal to new scanner system.in. Here, system.in represents the standard input stream. I guess it is clear from the name as well. That is for taking input. Now let's see, we might have to take different data from users. One might want to get some int data. Maybe one wants to get string data or float data. So for this, there is predefined input types or methods available in the scanner class. What we have to do is to use them according to the requirement. Let's see what those types or methods. The very first is next, it reads the user value as a string. So whenever we require string value as user input, we use this method next. The second one in next byte, it reads the user value as a byte. Similarly, when we require value as a byte, we use this one. The next one is next sort. It reads the user value as a sort value. The next one is next int. It reads the user value as int value. Then next long. It will read the user value as a long value. Then next float. It reads the value as a float value. And the last next double. It simply means it reads the user value as a double value. So simply we use all these methods whenever we want to get input of the type. So you might have get confused about how we can use these methods. So these are the scanner class methods which we use in Java programming language. Now it's time to let's see an example program for the scanner class. Let's open notepad. Here first write the scanner package which is import java.util.scanner, right? Because when we use a scanner class in Java, we have to first import it from the package and the package we will declare like this. The next we have to declare a class, let's name it scanner test class, class scanner test. Then again next time public static void many string args and under the bracket we create an object of a scanner class like this scanner sc is equal to new scanner and we pass the predefined object as we discussed earlier system.in now here i want to take input by entry in so right here system.out.println under bracket enter your roll number and then int roll number is equal to sc dot next int sc here is the object next int we have used here for taking int value as input it will provide us the user input in integer form so according to need we can use all different predefined methods as well next here system dot out dot int ln enter your name string name is equal to sc dot next here we use the method next because we want to get the value in a string as for the name. It will read the user input in a string. Next string dot out dot print ln enter your fee. Double fee is equal to here we use double like this double fee is equal to sc dot next double. Here we use the method next double because I want to get the value in double as for the fee. It will read the user input in double. Till yet, what we have done in our code is once we run our code, it will ask the roll number first. After when we enter it, it will ask to enter the 
name and then it will ask for enter fee let's check it here you can see the same let enter anything for now now the next step we want to print all the values which we entered as input right so for that just add the print statement before the close statement as system.out.println and under the bracket we just pass roll number plus roll number name plus name fee plus fee this will basically shows us the inputs which we entered and last we need to close it so for that we add st.close let's run the code you can see it asks to enter your roll number let enter 10 and hit enter again you can see it asks to enter your name let enter name technically speaks and hit enter now it asks to enter your fee let enter 25000 and hit enter so finally you can see it prints all the inputs in a single line because of the print statement we were added in our code but this is not actually the look what we want to print right so let's add here slash n and see the magic now here you can see all the inputs which we were entered are now showing in different lines and looks nice so friends this is all about scanner class in java i hope you understand the uses of scanner class methods in java through this video if you want the source code and notes of this video then check the description of this video there you will get the link Thanks for watching and for more updates subscribe to our channel.